Hello everybody. In our recent tutorial for how to do the trackyard glitch, if you recall, we mentioned that it could be used to get infinite coins on wet dry world. Today, you will learn exactly how this is done. The method shown in this video is easy to learn and to do once you know how. The other method was a little harder because you had to go to the town and then all the way back up every time you turn the truck here into a coin. But earlier today we found how to quickly glitch back up while still holding the truck here object thing, so you only have to get back the hard way one time and that's at the start. To begin with, enter the level by jumping into the painting at the, at the top or the bottom so that the water level is as high or as low as possible. It's much easier to get back up to the first part of the level if you have the water level high, but since this video is tool assisted we decided to keep it low so we can make it look more interesting. So make your way to the other side of the level. If you entered the level with the water as high as possible, the fence he just went over you can get over it a lot more easily by jumping out of the water and Mario will grab on and climb over it. Okay, what you want to do here is to lower the water level in this section of the level and then you want to get back to the truck here. Okay, now this long jump wall jump you're about to see is a little tricky. You need to have you need to have a good angle, and when you hit the wall, you have to tap A twice, but hold it down the second time, and move towards the grid wall to climb onto it. Yeah, now I get back out of the caged section here in the corner. You must do several difficult wall jumps to get out if you've had the water level low. But if the water level is high, then you can easily just jump over the fence. If the water level was high, then you'd have to lower it now to do the chuck here glitch. Well, anyway, do the chuck here glitch and do all the steps until you, you're in the tunnel. Swim through the tunnel until you fall and land on the ground. Then jump back into the water and you will appear back up in this higher section of the level. If you entered the level with the water high, it will be back up to high water, so you'd have to you would be swimming now. Either way, look at the coin surrounding that uh, that platform with the sign and the box on top of it. Yeah, what you want to do is keep going close enough to load the coins and then going back until the coins unload. And then, yeah, keep going back and forth until you find yourself holding a coin. When you do hold a coin, press B to throw it and collect it. There we go. Now we're just going to do it again to show you that it can be done repeatedly and tell you why it works. What just happened is that um, because you don't have a chuck here in your hand but you're meant to have something, 
it sometimes loads a, a coin into your hand so that it has something there because otherwise you got that weird white dot thing but anyway just watch it again and it'll, it'll become obvious what's happened and why it works Pay special attention to the coin surrounding the platform with the sign in the box. Notice how one of them just disappeared when I got the coin here? But don't worry, look what happens when you go away and come back. Oh my god, it's back again! One more thing, don't grab onto the edge of these boards because that acts as if you threw whatever you're holding. And obviously, you don't want to throw a truck here or that white thing that would otherwise be able to turn into a coin. But if you've got a coin, you'll just get the coin, that's not bad, but anyway. The rest of this video is just all the good bits in slow motion as you've probably already guessed. Anyway, have fun and good luck doing the glitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 